Welcome to Fraser 365. I'm Will Adams, Media Director at Fraser Church in Montgomery, Alabama. And during these weeks, I'm going to be doing a series of interviews for our daily devotional. This week, I'm here with Jared Dormany, who is our Minister of Music and Worship. And each day, I'll be asking him a different question. So today's question is, do you have a life verse or favorite passage of Scripture? If so, what is it and why? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's one that I go back to repeatedly. It's John chapter 9. Uh, it's, you know, I paraphrase. I, I memorize these and I paraphrase them in ways that um, just help speak to me. But in John chapter 9, Jesus and his disciples come upon this man that was born blind. And uh, the disciples ask Jesus a question that... Uh, for a little while, it seemed like it was a taboo question uh, for Christians, and it was the the question, why? And they said, why was this man born blind? Was it because of his mother's or his father's sin? And Jesus said, no, it was not because of any of that. It's so that the power of God could be revealed in him. And many of you know, uh, who have been at the church for a while, uh, just all the trials and the experiences that, that my wife and I and our family has faced, uh, you know, we've really for the past all, really, past 15 years, um, you know, we've had we had three miscarriages before we were able to welcome our first child into our house, uh, and then our first child was born very, very sick, missing part of her brain, and uh, lots of other trials. Uh, then she started doing really well, meeting you know some uh, milestones, and and so we had a second child. Uh, that child was born with excess fluid on her brain and had to have uh, a, an emergency brain surgery at 22 days old. Uh, then we were two for two on brain abnormalities, and so we, uh, we'd we always felt called to adopt, and so we moved ahead with that process. Right, we Our plan had always been to have three biological kids and then adopt a fourth, um, but we, we had two and then decided to adopt. Um, and we adopted a child that we knew had some medical uh you know, concerns around his kidneys, uh, but turned out they were very severe. He spent three months of his first year at Children's Hospital. He's had like 12 kidney operations, you know, some really, really scary stuff. You know, we've picked uh, our first child up out of the crib practically lifeless on multiple occasions and, you know, Nora's brain surgery and then Jay Will's, you know, the doctor in in an operation saved his life one time. Um so we've experienced a lot of these really hard things, and for a while we felt like we couldn't ask the question why. Um, and then somebody one time told Abby, "Why? Why do you feel like you can't ask him the question why? I mean, he's God; he's big enough to handle your emotions and your anger." And then one day I was reading through Scripture, and I, I came across this passage and that phrase. They asked, "Why was it because of his mother or father's sin?" And he said, "None of that, so that my power would be revealed in him." That all of a sudden gave me an answer, and it was, you know, not necessarily an answer that I, I wanted. I didn't necessarily like it. Like, I'd rather you choose another way to show me your power uh, than through my kids. But when, I've, when I saw that, what it did is it, it showed me that in all of these moments— God has a promise that He's going to show His power and His glory in it. And it might look differently, and it might not look the way we wanted to. You know, we actually thought that Nora was healed uh, supernaturally before she was born, because we'd been praying for that. Uh, and then we found out 22 days later that she was not healed. In fact, she needed to have emergency surgery. And I was so mad at God. But then the story of how she received her healing, you know, the, the brain operation that she had was actually created by a doctor who was actually serving at the University of Kentucky's Pediatric uh, Hospital in Neurology and felt called to give away everything that he had um, and moved to Uganda to become a basically a medical missionary at the Children's Hospital in Uganda. And over there, children who had what Nora was born with were getting sick and dying because the shunt, which is what they were using to treat, uh, they would get infected and these children would get so sick and they would pass away before they could get back to good medical treatment. And so that doctor decided there had to be a different way to treat this. And so he came up with this procedure um, 
that the doctor that we ended up seeing had just gone over to Uganda to learn this operation basically in exchange for medical supplies. So he brought medical supplies over to Uganda. The doctor that was over there taught our doctor this procedure. Nor is one of the first cases in America that's had it and had it successfully. And now Nor is healed. I mean, she's the like, well, I say healed. But they can never say those words. The likelihood of her needing medical intervention for that is less than 5%. So for all practical purposes, she's been healed. And so... That was my why. Why did we have to go through this? Well, to see God's power. Like he can call a doctor. It actually was called the year my wife and I met is the year that they, he and his family gave away everything to move to Uganda. He moved to go be a medical missionary. The doctor that we happened to see in Birmingham had just gotten back. And that procedure that he was able to do on my daughter is what brought her healing. Like that's the power of God revealed through a very difficult situation but that's why that's my life first so whatever it is that you're going through your why and again we don't always like this answer but that why is so that we would see the power of god be revealed and have our eyes open to look for whatever that thing is <laughs>